we've got to recreate the tune. No, that's wrong. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah, that sounds good. Nope. Yep. I don't know. Well, that didn't work. Shut up. But keep trying. There are only 1,024 possible Can you replay the tune for me? <laughs> we'll have it in no time. Can you replay it for me? There has got to be some goddamn clue. <sighs> there is no clue. I know there's a clue in the melody, but I don't know what it is. Can we hear it again? Do I have to go out to hear it again? Can you play it again? Wait, where's, where's the person? Where's the person? Bring me a person who's humming. Can you guys sing it again? <laughs> what was that? Huh? Can you run that by me again? Dude managed to do it first try. Switches. Okay, that's on me. So I didn't, I didn't even look at this thing. I didn't even see these things here. What an absolute twit. So I like that. I'd like a second one. Okay, I don't know if it's the first or the second one. Go away. Is that gonna do it? Okay, whoops. Yep, 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 I see it, I see it, I see it. I see it. You need to go higher. And then you need to go there. That sounds really weird. dubious about this one. And that's not right? Then why is it glowing freaking orange? Let's take this one. And this one has to go down to the second. Ugh, that sounds awful. No. It's this third one. This one's fucking me up. Because these stop being orange when that third one gets hit. I don't fucking know. Just give me the goddamn solution. I don't know. down to the bottom. Does the first one stay orange when it gets to it? I just, I don't know what it's supposed to do.
I'm just visually doing it. I'm not listening to the sounds anymore, like since that failed. That last one's too low. Why are you not higher? There we go. That's a sound I'm after. you at all. Okay, so it's got nothing to do with the visuals. You have to still listen to it. Something's happening. Hey. I think you got it. <gasps> I'm also going very yes, mad. That's it. It's working. I hope. What happened? Come on. Oh, they're all free. Let's get out of here. Because uh, I made a perfect tune, see? I feel it. I freed Everything them? worked out. I have a small camp set outside of this room. We can talk there. This dude must have gotten it first try. Must know the answer. First dude I was next to, that is. Oh, and out we go. Oh, to his camp anyway. Can we all leave now? This place sucks. Ah, oh, the hero of the hour. You have my deepest thanks and most heartfelt compliments. The fact that you fixed it in your clearly adult condition. Exemplary work. Just exemplary. Seems like it's quieted down. But what I is do it? Hope it stays that way. What happened back there? I can offer little more than a guess. When you corrected the melody, the resonator returned to a dormant state. Some kind of slumbering function to conserve energy, maybe. What matters is that it's quieted down. Thank goodness. Do you think the egg hands will be all right? Oh dear, I hope so. Their exposure was fairly limited. If they had remained for another day, though, difficult to say. Please, let the foreman know how truly sorry I am. If there's anything I can do to help, feel free to call on me at my tower. Your tower? You have a tower like barrels are? Thank you, I'll speak to the foreman. I do wish I could have done a more thorough study of the resonator. What do you think they would do with such a device? Enslavement, perhaps? No, not enslavement. Oh, that's too obvious. Okay, can I ask you something? Please. After all you've done, I'd say you're entitled to ask me several somethings. What was that machine exactly? A dwarven resonator. A tonal amplification device meant to alter thought patterns. Thought patterns? That's my hypothesis, what? That's just anyway. Like a contr mind control the device. The tones clearly have a powerful effect on the brain. To the dwarves, though? It might have sounded like a lovely song and nothing more. You mentioned it might have been used for slavery. Well, not slavery in the conventional sense. The tone wouldn't compel the listeners to work so much as it would make working a source of profound pleasure. Oh. So the workers would be eager to work, you see? They might have even paid for the privilege. Uh, okay. Slavery through mind control. Well, again, slavery is a clumsy description. It's, it's more like a transaction. Labor in exchange for brief, pleasurable sensations. Much like the skooma trade. I guess that's not much better than slavery, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Of course, this is all just conjecture. Why were you fiddling with it if you didn't know what it did? I hail from House Telvani. A house obsessed with magical antiquity. That says a we lot. suffer from a peculiar need to tinker with, well, everything. I won't make excuses. I knew there were risks, but honestly, had no idea that the miners would be exposed. Didn't you know about the dices? Miners, mines being connected? Of course not. I've spent years surveying this ruin. I took so many precautions. Unfortunately, when I engaged the resonator, there were a number of minor tremors. They breached the wall between the ruin and the mine. Ah, the rest is tragic history. That makes sense. But you were down here the entire time? Yes. Several days, in fact. I erected a series of oral wards to protect myself from the resonator's effects. But I could tell I was slipping. Another few days and I'd have been as mad as those egg hands. I had to get creative. Hence why he wanted me to nod or shake my head. Earplugs? Yes. The wondrous power of Kwama wax. Given a few minutes of heat exposure, it hardens and expands. Great for plugging leaks, mending furniture, and protecting you from ancient dwarven brain scramblers. <laughs> First rate stuff. Indeed. Okay, well, let me go talk to the foreman, and uh, I guess we shall live to see another day. Unless some of the miners died from that. 
could have just died from the quakes, I suppose. Foreman? 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 Where is the foreman? Oh, I came out a different exit. Eh. <sighs> weather we're having. I don't think I'll slow this goddamn horses. <sighs> you could have just gone around the toadstool. You do realise that, yeah? And then we will claim our level 20 word reward once we get back to the foreman. Where is he? There he is. You did it! My egg hand started stumbling out of the mine a few minutes ago. They've got some bumps and scrapes and more than a few headaches, but otherwise no worse for the wear. What happened down there? A dark elf mage accidentally activated a dwarven mind control device. God, it sounds so farcical when I say it like that. Dwarven what? How did... I've worked those mines for years and I've never seen a scrap of dwarf mischief. Where is this snow-backed dark elf? It was that Talvani Skiva Revis, wasn't it? Yes, it was Revis. He says he's sorry and offered to help get the mine back on track. Huh. More Talvani trickery. And to think I'd almost warm to that little dolt. <laughs> Enough grumbling. I'm just grateful that my people are alive and safe. Me too. It's only because of you, friend. I'll raise a bottle Ooh. of mead to you every night from now until world's end. <laughs> Please, take this. You've more than earned it for what you've done. Thanks, sir. With a couple of days rest and a few stiff drinks, we'll be up and running again. I guess I should go check on the queen at some point. She's probably a nervous wreck. Always been a little skittish. Yeah, that about that. She kind of died during the mine disaster. What? No, that can't be. The Queen's the heart of the mine. We mine eggs for Mara's sake. Can't very well run an egg mine without eggs, can you? find yourself another queen. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's been a rough few days. It was that damned dwarf magic, wasn't it? Yes, the song affected everything in there, including the poor Kwama. Revis. I want you to find that scrawny little wizard and tell him the bills come due. He wants to help? Well, now's the hawking time. If he doesn't fix this, we'll sick the redderin on him. No. He doesn't want that, believe me. Oh, so I've got to go back and talk to him. Okay, well, he might have a way to solve this missing queen problem. Revis lives just north of here. You'll oh. see a tangle of old rope bridges and rocks. Kine only knows what that wizard does out there. Make sure you really lay into him, huh? I do it myself, but I've got to take care of this lot. Did House Redoran ever show up to help with the mines like they said they were going to? Ah, of course not. Too busy praying and hollowing out bugs, no doubt. But make no mistake. If they find out a Talvani mage has been poking around in their territory, they'll come down on this place like a Dawnstar gale. I love how Nordic this dude is. Uh, how do you think Revis can help? That's a question for Revis. Frankly, I don't give a damn how he fixes it. He just needs to fix it. Tell him to use some of that Talvani magic to conjure up a queen or something. Wait, that's a terrible idea. It'll probably end up eating us. And what happens if he's unable to help? Then it'll fall to the houses to sort this mess out. Of course, they'll probably be too busy posturing and politicking to help mm -hmm. us. It'll be the egg hands that suffer most. You can count on that. Okay. I knew that Talvani so would betray us eventually. We should have cast him out years ago. That's it. Oh, okay. Cool. So, let's take that level up. Yay! Yeah, that's great. Um, so not much of use. Oh, Lion Guard. Oh, these are costumes. Full plate armor with blue, black accents. It would help if I could actually see what the damn thing looked like. You know, when I clicked on it. Top by an art helm with open visor as worn by the Lion Guard of the Covenant. Or black and brown leather armor top with a black leather cowl. Like a bread and skirmisher scout. 
I guess the Covenant Scout? I can't really tell! <sighs> Title. Librarian. Sure. Outfit. I don't have an outfit. I would like to increase my... Ugh, I don't really know at this point. Uh, guess Magicka? I do use it a lot. And more stamina, I think. Yep. Sounds like a plan. I've got three skill points. What would I like to do? What can I do? Let's figure that out first. So I can do... Actually, hold up. I know one thing I'm already going to do. Where... Well, look at the guild. Fighters guild. Intimidating. So I can now use intimidate. Okay, that's got that out of the way. I'm not doing anything... Feel oh, I don't even have to do anything. They're all passive. Cool. So, yes. So, warmth. Uh, when you deal direct damage with an artifact ability, you reduce the enemy's movement speed. Okay, so it slows them down. Hmm, I don't know if that's really worth it. Dark talents. Call for dark talents around dealing. Yeah, whatever. Passive. While draconic power ability is active, which it will be with my armor, your healing received is increased by 6%. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to take it. Thank you. I'm not using Earthen Heart. Two-handed. Oh, I can get another attack. Can't even be bothered. Uh, with two-handed weapon equipped, reduces the stamina cost of your two-handed attacks by 7%. Oh, that's a lot. Who is making that bloody god-awful noise? Yeah, I'll take that. I know I said I was going to check on my options first, but whatever. Done now. It's telling me to get all of that. Well, too damn bad. Doing things my way, game. Now, outfits. Not long I'm able to see what the damn things look like in this god awful weather. But, let's have a look. Appearance. Um, costumes. Covenant Scout. Uh, it's a bit colourless. But overall, I find I don't quite mind it. I actually, that looks kind of cool. Sure, Nadira. Let's, let's rock that for a little bit, I guess. Just means you, you camouflage real well. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Is that you lot making that inappropriate sound? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> anyway, I just quickly gave her a hairstyle to match her new outfit. I was kind of wanting to give her dreads, but I wasn't sure if it suited her or not. And I don't know if I should change the earrings because I kind of like the nose piercing these earrings give her. So, I don't know. I'm fully undecided. Anywho. We were going to... Where even am I on the map? Right, yes. Find Revis to continue the storyline. Sorry, I have taken a break. Uh, which side of the building is here? Oh, you just follow the main... Okay, we're following the main path around. Come, Snowman. Let us be on our way. Far from those strange people and their strange sounds. Oh, what's in the distance over, over here? Okay, I, I was hoping I could get my cursor, but alas. Oh, so hitting alt does that. Peculiar. But you can see the sh there's, there's land in the distance. Hmm. Oh boy. Straight, you say. Do I have to go up? That is a very good question. God, this place is just full of creatures. No? Oh, yes, we do have to go up. How the frick do I get up? Here? Why are there things that can attack you in the middle of a city? That doesn't seem very appropriate. Here we go. Another one missing. By the three, how many eggs did they take? Oh shit. Who's taking eggs? Oh shit, that is going. Sheesh, I'm sorry about uh, setting your entire place on fire. I do apologize. But what's this about somebody stealing eggs? Ah. Oh. Hello again, my friend. Hi. All's well in Nysis, yes? Apparently. I heard the bustle of the town what? when I returned home. It would seem our work in the mine was a success. What a relief. You care to join me for... Wait, what are you doing all the way out here? The Kwama Queen is dead. Foreman laughter... Laughter? Laughter is furious. 
Oh dear. That is a problem. Damnable resonator. That is the last time I randomly flipped switches on an ancient dwarven machine. <laughs> I should hope so. Let it be said that Revis Demnavani shirks his responsibilities. I'll, I'll fix this. You have my word. How? Well, in addition to being a Dwemer scholar, I'm a compulsive egg collector. What? I have diverse interests. Anyway, I happen to possess a royal Kwama egg. <laughs> or at least I did. It seems that some cliff striders stole it from my hatchery. Do you happen to know which of the trillion cliff striders I just passed them away here has the egg? Tucked away in one of the beast's roosts, I suspect. Uh, I'm not sure which one, though. Uh, find as many cliff strider egg heaps as you can, then mark them with this divining stone. I'll jot down their locations and prepare them for transport. All right, I'll find these egg heaps and meet you back here. You shouldn't have any difficulty finding the egg heap. <laughs> so he Just says. Just look for giant piles of hardened mud and feces. Sounds like did a I great that feces time. Would be involved? You did not. Huh? Well, there will be feces. Thanks. Loads of it. For mentioning that. Appreciate it. If you like love eggs so much, why did you leave them in an unguarded open air hatchery? Ah, well, it only appears unguarded. I erected a series of powerful wards before I set out to discover the resonator. Unfortunately, I was down there for a very long time. These wards don't last forever, you know. Out of curiosity, how did you eat while you were down there? Did you bring down sufficient food or what? But anywho, why are these clustriders storing the egg in a heap? Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I've never been interested in the brutes. They steal all sorts of things. Guars, furniture, spare keys. They pack them in mud and feces along with their own eggs. Puzzling, truly. Lovely. Do you think the baby Cliff Striders will try to eat the royal egg? I guess it's possible. <sighs> like I said, Cliff Striders are very odd and unpredictable. All the more reason to find the egg quickly. Yes, I see you're so eager to help me as well. Oh god. Uh, is there anything up top or do I have to go down for everything? I don't even know. Let's just go in. Guns blazing. Oof! That was unexpected. Sheesh! Okay, it's up there. Can I sort of... Nope, that is way too high. There is a bridge. There is a bridge! Oh, the thing didn't seem to want to attack me. That's peculiar. Here we go. Oh yay, no one's guarding it. Fantastic. Ew, don't touch it. Just go near it. Fantastic! So where is this next one? I can't quite see it. Yeah. They're bloody everywhere. Oh, there it is. Couldn't see it against the sky. Ow. And that thing's totally gonna attack me. Oh god, they all are. Okay, well. Of course you would do such a thing. Um, meet Reeves at the hatchery. Can do. We just run right away from that disturbing creature. And see if we can glitch our way up the side of here. And get to Revis. Out of my way, yo. You too. 
exactly gonna have to attack those, so. Bye. So, Dunskis. Excellent work finding those egg heaps. Really, first rate. Now comes the real challenge. The mud slurry encasing the eggs is hard as obsidian. Ew. There's really no way to tell which heap contains the royal egg Ew. until we crack open the casing. You can touch that to your heart's content. My dainty white lily hands are going freaking nowhere near. Okay, actually, I have white lily hands, uh, I guess. Nadira has delightful caramel looking hands. <laughs> so our hands are going nowhere near these damn things. If you have no idea which heap contains the royal egg, how do we know which heap to take to Nysus? Simple. We bring them all with us. After you, I'm Butch. at least one of these heaps contains the royal egg. Of course, there's the other matter of getting the eggs out without breaking them, but, you know, that's something we can figure out when we get to town. This doesn't feel like much of a plan. Oh, don't worry so much. I mean, you managed to disable an ancient dwarven resonator with zero training. Extracting an egg from a pile of dung should be a walk among the daisies for you, right? This is going to work. Just you wait and see. This dude sounds like Alistair from Dragon Age and Flynn from the Uncharted 2. But I, I don't think it's him. But it sounds like him. What's the quickest way to get to these folk? Yep, killing my, my horse seems like the best uh, course of action apparently. Even though I don't use these. Oh well. God, one day I'll actually get the right button. Hello? Do I no longer have a horse? You cannot mount in combat. What the fuck am I in combat with? I think you're on crack. Oh yes, we get to listen to these people moaning again. Can't wait. Until your house oh, they're gone. Up, Think we have that. no other options. I'm willing to give anything a try at this point. You'd welcome that Telvani schemer into town after all he's done? You truly are a fool, Lothdar. To oblivion with the lot of you. Lothdar? What's happening? Please tell me you have good news. I don't think I've got the stamina for another disaster. What did Revis say? Can he help us or not? Revis believes he might have a royal Kwama egg you can use. A royal egg? The Telvani had a Kwama queen just lying around? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> this might actually work. It would take an army to shove a full-grown queen through that mine. But an egg? We've got a real chance here. The egg's encased in one of three Clistrider egg heaps. We're not sure which one. Of course, always a catch. Whatever you need to do to break that egg out, you do it. I'm gonna make damn sure he knows we're watching. I'll be sure to tell him. Can anyone tell me what a Kwame egg looks like? Sorry for the delay. How am I supposed to know what they look like? Getting the eggs down here was trickier than I thought. Greetings, Foreman. <laughs> Enough with the apologies, Revis. Our mutual friend told me everything. Where are these egg heaps? Oh, yes, I'll put them down by the dock. Should make the cleanup a bit less onerous. <laughs> uh, feel free to go down there and inspect them. I'll just need a moment before we begin. This better work. What do you mean you just this. need a moment before so we begin? Do you. What is Love it? Lothar's gone, right? Good. I have news of the unpleasant variety. Based on the looks of the egg heaps, I'd say our royal egg is near to hatching. If the queen emerges before we put her in the mine, the workers will reject her. How do you know she is close to hatching? What? You don't even know which heap she's in. So how can you say such a statement? You're a strange man. How to keep the queen from hatching? Our misadventures in the mine gave me an idea. Kwama seemed particularly susceptible to tonal magic. And tonal magic is simply the creative manipulation of sound. I propose we sing our young queen a lullaby. You're not suggesting turning the Dwarven Resonator back on, are you? 
What? No. Simple music and a dash of magic should do. We just need a bard. Preferably one that puts people to sleep. I can amplify the, the chick up in the uh, in upstairs. Enchanted melody. I, I wouldn't it's say brilliant. she's putting people to sleep, but she's a vocalist. Yes. And what's more, I know a Vigard bard who can do it. Vigard the Sparrow. He's a talentless hack, but he's proven very adept at putting audiences to sleep. <laughs> Word around town is that he's headed south. Track him down and tell him I sent you. That should be enough. Okay, if you say so. 